What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Lodgepad1412. Excited to be back with another video here. We got an online ranked match versus a random opponent. My opponent got the Pittsburgh Steelers. A lot of people picking the Steelers in this game. Steelers and Cardinals. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm assuming people like to play with uh, David Johnson with the Cardinals. And, of course, you know, the Steelers have um, Antonio Brown, you know, Roethlisberger, and Le'Veon Bell, but you know, just, it just seems like I'm getting a whole bunch of people playing <laughs> with this team, and I, I, I guess they're one of the better teams. I guess that makes sense. I got the Texans once again. Second time I'm playing with them on the road this year. Um, I like this team. It's actually like the third time I played this team. One game, I think I had, a, I think I had a crazy game, and I didn't, I didn't get to show you because uh, something was wrong with the rendering or something. But me and my opponent put up like a, a whole bunch of points in that game. My opponent gets a nice play right here on the left hand side. Number 89, I show who that tight end is. Oh, Vance McDonald. I should know who that is. He played for the 49ers. My bad right there. First and goal, he doesn't get in. Second and goal, he's going to try again. Le'Veon Bell, I thought I had him. I had the wrong angle right there. And he has to be the touchdown. The first score of this contest is my turn to burn. Let's see what we can do. Woo! Right over in the middle, right into the heart of his defense. We get a first down to Hopkins. We're going to keep the chain moving. Number 27, get a nice little play right there on the left-hand side. My boy right here, man. I love this running back, man. Lamar Miller is a beast in this game. I did not know he was this nice in this game, man. I, I wish I would have known earlier. I'd probably have played with the Texans earlier, man. It, but even though I think, I don't think Deshaun Watson was that good on the game earlier. So, I got to think about that too, man. But at this juncture of the game, he's pretty good. We got a touchdown right here to Lamar Miller. You know, one of my favorite running backs in this game. I only played with him like three or four times <laughs> versus every other running back, man. He's like the perfect running back. Him, Marshall Falk, if you play Mutt. Um, Barry Sanders has probably got to be a beast on this game. Le'Veon Bell is a beast too, but you know, Lamar Mills is a little bit more slender. He seems a little bit more agile, you know. Uh, Levante Freeman, you know, those, those type of guys, you know, they just seem like the best running backs this year. On the game, I remember at one point in time, or once upon a time, like in 2004, 2005, he kind of wanted a bigger back, maybe like a Steven Jackson or a Steven Davis. I don't know if you guys remember Steven Davis. He used to play for the, um, I believe it was Seattle. I believe he played for Seattle. Or somebody like a Sean Alexander. You want a nice little bigger back, somebody that can truck somebody and have some speed, or at least decent speed at the same time. Of course, there's always speed running backs that people went for, but you know, if you had a big guy, he, he seemed like he was more valuable versus them. I mean, this man, not that he doesn't have any value, but it just seems like it's better to have a running back that can catch and run and is more elusive in his games. Let's talk about the patch a little bit. I haven't really noticed the patch, but I have heard a couple commentators you know, talk about, a, about the patch a little bit and I do listen to other commentators. I do listen to other commentators. Look at this man. I try to get away from him right there. <laughs> I end up sack. I just threw it away. I don't know what I was thinking right there man. Forcing me to punt on that play. But I haven't really noticed anything you know different yet as far as the pass is concerned. But what I really wanted to say is that I just I'm not going to say I don't understand why they keep passing the game. But after about three or four patches it's kind of like you know what, what is the point of passing the game after about three or four patches. I understand they try to make the game better, but I, I just the, the the point that I'm kind of make like man, if you don't get it right, I think about three or four times, you know, maybe you should just leave it alone, maybe <laughs> give it a rest and try again next year or something. I, I don't really know. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure on um, what they are patching specifically. I, I guess it would depend on that. You know, there are things about the game that I, I do think they need to you know patch up. Or I guess technically, but I don't think you can do that with a patch. I think it's something you got to. You guys got to do next year. You know, what I mean, this the fluidity of the game could always could always be better on the PS4. I've always said that. You know, some defenders don't defend. Some defenders don't don't make any plays. Think of it is, you can have a defender that's a 33 overall, but if I press the button to put my hand up, he at least got to put his hand up and try to fuck the ball. It don't matter what rating that he is. You know, maybe his awareness and just make him miss the, the the ball. You know, he got bad awareness. Like that's, that makes sense. I like get a user. A pick right there, man. Almost running back, man. But he's a catch point down the right hand side. These guys are getting really good at, uh, you know, catching you when you feel like you have a break. And we get that um, game winning. I guess a game winning, but game leading to touchdown right there. Making the score 14 to 7, man. Let's see what my opponent got on his drive. But yeah, you know, if, uh, you know, if, my, if my defender is a 45 overall, it don't matter if he put his hand up. Like I said, if he's 7 7, 45 overall, that's an example. <laughs> you know, I'm going with somebody that's 7 7. 99 overall, you know, if we if we neck and neck, I should be able to put my hand up and bet that ball in there. Or at least, you know, make them swat at it or something. They won't make the defender move at all. Other things they need to work on. Um, I I do like that much that they, they, they made the, uh, 
I think more so than any other year, they made the higher ranking players, you know, higher ranking players. Like I told you about, you know, the mutt in my last video, you know, and how, you know, I lost about 50 because I had an 84 overall team going against a 99 overall team. They get a beautiful run right there. <laughs> and, you know, because, I mean, that, and to me, that's what should happen, you know. If you got an 84 overall team versus a 99 overall team, you know, you, you should most likely take that L. You know, like I said, my opponent wasn't necessarily the greatest, but the players that he had that he was playing with was, uh, was outstanding. So that's something that did do well. And I was trying to think of other things I need to work on. There's more things I can't think of them right now on top of the head. But we're up two touchdowns. I might do a video on it. We'll, we'll see. We're up two touchdowns right now. Um, someone asked me a question. So let me answer this question real quick. It's an NBA question. I actually um, got by the name of Chuck. Um, you know, one of my more faithful uh, subscribers asked us to get a nice pick right here. This guy got another pick again <laughs> in the game. I'm going to play with his text number 29. I'm going to show who that guy is. I think it's something ball. But look, look at this run right here. Look at this, man. <laughs> it's your boy. We don't go all the way to the to the house, but we get a nice one right there. But yeah, um, he asked me, you know, how do I feel about the you know Warriors and their injury problems right now? And I, I kind of agree with Skate Bay a, a little bit. Um, I, I think this is setting up for you know you know LeBron to, to kind of get lucky a little bit, a little bit of luck. Of course, I'm not no one, no one in no NBA championship is luck. But get a little bit of luck and have a little bit easier path to to the finals than normal. The only reason why I say that because if, if he doesn't play the Warriors in the finals, he's gonna have to probably most likely go against the Rockets or maybe even the Blazers. But I think most likely the Rockets, and I'm not sure how ready they are as a team to go up against um, you know someone like LeBron. But but we'll see. You know we'll see. You know hopefully those Warriors players will come back and they come back. You already know I got the Warriors winning the whole thing because they're just too much of a beast of a team. But it's just um. These these injuries are very convenient, you know, for a team like the Cavaliers, a team like the Cavaliers and the Rockets. I say that because I think the Cavaliers are going to go all the way as far as the East is concerned. And if you take the Warriors out of the picture, I think the Rockets are the better or the best team in the West. So that's my thoughts on that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is your boy Launchpad fourteen twelve. I'm out.